All right, I'm about to watch the deep dive video about the dynasty mode, college football 25. I have to admit, I've taken a peek at the Reddit. I've glimpsed at some of the features that are in this mode, but I have not watched the video. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. Three, two, one, play. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here with EA Sports College Football 25, back for another deep dive. This time, audio is kind of about everyone's favorite mode, Dynasty. All right, I like the screen. Online Dynasty in college football. Some slow mo footage. Up to 32 teams. And select my team. I like the seasons. Today we'll selection screen. I like the breadcrumb in the top right corner. 12 team playoff. All right, that's a thing next year. The transfer portal and a ton of customization. Clean looking interface. College football has seen seismic changes over the past few years. And an EA Sports 12 team playoff. Yeah, the breadcrumb in the top right corner. Score bug or the scoreboard. Looks great. The 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12-team college football playoff, and you can play it first in the game months before the real thing. You could be the first coach to... Can't hear the audio. But that's okay. I'll just listen. Michigan, Georgia. Recruiting is the life... Yeah, I really like the... The renders of the players, it's not photos, it's 3D renders. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. The best Clean looking way to interface. Powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Each year, over 30... I like the typeface. It looks like it's kind of... From all over the country, written on a chalkboard. Regions representing real world hotspots for blue chip talent, like South Florida and Metro Atlanta. Do research to find recruits that focusing on people's hometowns and their home states. Realistically land. I wish games would do that. Sports games would do that. Like instead of having photos in these types of screens, have renders. So you'll need so that real players, if applicable, blend in with, with your generated ones. And you don't have like profile pictures with just a silhouette. Some players have a deal breaker requirement. And if your program cannot provide deal breakers, will lock you out. Deal breakers you can get locked out, ghosted by recruits. That's a that's realistic. And get one last chance to these days. Track your recruits as they narrow down their top schools. Pitch a process. Pretty intuitive. This place. Set up school visits when the timing is right. So right now, I'm not. It's crucial. I'm not able to hear Kirk Herb Street's voiceover. I'm just kind of looking, to finally seeing how well these screens convey the information that they're intended to. Down to the top eight. You can attempt to increase. Okay, ranking the number of schools, school numerical lists. Exactly what the prospect is looking for, you can try to sway their opinion in your favor. Plan visits that elevate a recruit's experience, like pairing a. Yeah, I really like the screen. The Props to the interface the designers. It's crucial to keep an eye on the trend. I feel like a good interface is the kind that you don't even notice unless you happen to be like interested in interface design portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting but expect quick decisions as transfers have a shorter timeline to land a new home what does tr and then brackets junior mean true freshman okay Wait, what? Conferences in EA Sports College Football 25. Dynasty is yours to control. Custom conferences. Oh, yeah. Super conference might look like. I can't be the only person who wants to revert the conferences back to the 2010s. And membership and set custom conference rules, set up divisions and more. Once you've settled your conference options, it's time to select your team. Begin with a highly ranked team and dominate at the top with repeat recruiting and playoff success. Or Clemson. build from the ground up with a smaller program and prove you have what it takes to go from an unknown to postseason favorite. We can't talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job. Start as an offensive or defensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator, defensive corner, coordinator. So you get to pick where you start off in your coaching career. 
Choose from one of the three base coaching types to start. You can pick a backstory. What coaching skill tree you start with. From there, the abilities you acquire as you progress will determine what kind Which of abilities you've got like. Into. Unlock additional skill trees. Your, uh, I don't abilities. know what it's called. Like or a web of skills. Multiple skill trees. You can unlock hybrid trees that leverage Scheme a more diverse guru. skill set. The coaching carousel is coach a carousel. Part of okay, that's returning. Journey. Whether you're the head man at your dream school or working your way up, the carousel is your way of fielding offers from other programs. Head coaches in Dynasty can actively manage their coordinator positions. So if one of your staff takes a job elsewhere or you decide to cut ties for other reasons, you can use a hot the seat. carousel to replace them. Remember, even the coordinator is going to the NFL. That's realistic. Every coach has a unique skill tree. It's important to think about and coaches and coordinators will have prestige grades, just like schools. To max out your benefits or seeking out balance for a well-rounded staff. So those are the three archetypes: tactician, motivator, and success. And your coaches progress. Forget the third one. The benefits of coach talents are stackable. So if your head coach and defensive coordinator have the architect, the impact for that ability will be greater. Well, that's it for today's deep dive into dynasty mode in EA Sports College Football 25. To make a game day every day this season, pre-order the MVP bundle. All right. Yeah. I'm going to have to uh, adjust my headset because I was only able to hear the music. But in some ways, that's better because I was able just to focus on the visuals on screen. I like the interface. looks clean. Everything that needs to be conveyed is conveyed in an intuitive way. The text is readable. Using colors to convey certain things, but I like how color is not the only um, communicator, right? There's text as well. Custom conference alignment is a big thing. I mean, I would say it's a huge thing, but it's a nice to have. And I've read on the Reddit that coordinators whom you hire will have their own progressions. You can't choose what skills they have. They develop independently from you. So that creates a bit of more dynamic progression. Right. So that's why you, it's more important to hire and, if necessary, fire coordinators if you're a head coach who fit your philosophy. You can't like you can't assign them skills like you would a player. I don't even know if you can do that with players. Yeah. It's cool. So let me adjust my headset. All right. I'm going to play it a second time. This time I'll be able to hear Kirk Herb Street's voiceover. All right. Three, two, one, play. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here with EA Sports College Football 25, back for another deep dive. This time we're talking about everyone's favorite mode. Dynasty, Dynasty. of course. Online Dynasty in College Football 25 can accommodate up to 32 teams. Online Dynasty? Oh. 30 seasons. Okay. Take a closer look at the new 12-team college football playoff, recruiting, the transfer portal, and a ton of customization options to make your program unique. College football has seen seismic changes over the past few years. And Definitely. Sports college football 25, you can experience this new land. What a difference 10 years makes. The, way you want. the 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12 team college football play. I actually forgot about that. First in the game months before the real thing. You could be the first coach to lead your school through the new 12-team playoff and hoist the college football playoff trophy. Nice presentation. Recruiting is the lifeblood of college football. And in a world of unlimited transfers, managing your dynasty roster has never been more important. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. The best way to build a powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Okay, transfer portal, it's there. Over 
100 high school recruits are generated from all over the country, with certain regions representing real-world hotspots for blue-chip talent, sure. like South Florida and Metro Atlanta. Do research to find recruits that best fit your program and determine who you can realistically land. A recruit's interest in your school is decided by 14 different pitch grades. Wow. Proximity to home. Sure. Playing time and brand exposure. So you'll need to discover how your program's pitch grades align with your recruit's desires, in addition to scouting for talent. I don't remember that. I don't know. I think most of them are returning from NCAA 14. And if your program cannot provide, the recruit will lock you out. Ghosted. That makes sense. Decision to enter the transfer portal. Monitor at-risk players and get one last chance to convince your favorites to stay. Track your recruits as they narrow down their top schools. Pitch a prospect to gain more interest and then set up school visits when the timing is right. It's crucial to remain in their top 10, then eight, then five to finally be part of their top three. As a recruit trims down to the top eight, you can attempt to increase your appeal. If your school doesn't have exactly what the prospect is looking for, you can try to sway their opinion in your favor. Plan visits that okay. elevate a recruit's experience, like pairing a quarterback visit with a wide receiver visit at the same time. Okay, that makes sense. It's crucial to keep an eye on the transfer portal when it opens in the off season to round out your roster with talent you couldn't land from recruiting. Add portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting, but expect quick decisions as transfers have- Oh, TR stands for transfer. Okay. I didn't see transfer portal listed conference at the top alignment is a previously. Topic in college My prior viewing. And with custom conferences in EA Sports College Football 25, Dynasty is yours to control. See what a 20 team super conference might look like or revert to the traditional conference alignment. Shape the conference size and membership and set custom conference rules, set up divisions and more. Once you've settled your conference options, it's time to select your team. Begin with a highly ranked team and dominate at the top with repeat recruiting and playoff success. Or build from the ground up with a smaller program and prove you have what it takes to go from an unknown to postseason favorite. We can't talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job. Start as an offensive or defensive coordinator and climb the ranks to head coach or take over a program as the head coach right away. Okay, yeah, I like that option. Okay, motivator, recruiter, tactician. Your coach type will determine what coaching skill tree you start with. From there, the abilities you acquire as you progress will determine what kind of coach you develop into. Motivator, tactician. Additional skill trees with better abilities. Or if you build up multiple skill trees, you can unlock hybrid trees that leverage a more diverse skill set. Okay. The coaching carousel is an important part of every coach's journey. Whether you're the head man at your dream school or working your way up, the carousel is your way of fielding offers from other programs. Head coaches in Dynasty can actively manage their coordinator positions. So if one of your staff takes a job elsewhere or you decide to cut ties for other reasons, you can use the carousel to replace them. Remember, even the greatest coaches need support and every coach has a unique skill tree. It's important to think about how you wanna build your staff, whether that's doubling down on your existing strengths to max out your benefits or seeking out balance for a well-rounded staff. Choose wisely. The decisions you make here will matter to your program's success and your coach's progression. The benefits of coach talents are stackable. So if your head coach and defensive coordinator have the same ability, the impact for that ability will be greater. Oh, nice. Okay. For today's deep dive into Dynasty mode in EA Sports College Football 25. To make it game day every day this season, pre-order the MVP bundle. All right. Good video. Uh, okay, I think my camera's kind of slid down a bit. But basically, one thing that isn't mentioned...
I know this video is really, really meant to be an overview, but just reading on the Reddit for this game, for the visits, you can't have more than four recruits at a time. And NCAA 14, you could spam and have like several recruits come to a game and you schedule it against a cupcake appointment and you just pummel them and that's how you can kind of cheese the recruiting but as I understand this game it will limit the number of recruits who you can schedule for a visit but I like the notion of being able to um, get some kind of bonus for a complimentary visit like in the video they mentioned pairing a receiver and a quarterback for the same visit um yeah, one thing that isn't made explicitly clear in the video is that, as I mentioned, the coordinators, generated coaches and coordinators have their own trees. You can't assign skills or like a lot development points the way you would in other games, like an RPG game. So that creates an element of randomness and dynamic progression. But I like the notion of boosts or perks being stackable so if you got two coordinators who are both excellent motivators for example then you benefit from both of their skills um the transfer portal was highlighted briefly i didn't even notice it the first time all i saw was the tr but that's what that stands for okay so i'm gonna uh let's see here I'm going to play it a third time. That's how I do it. Oh, yes, the online dynasty. I'm not really an online dynasty person. I've never played online dynasty. I'm more of a solo offline player, taking my time, making my own stories and stuff. But I'm, I might do that as well as online. I just have to find people who have this game and who can play, commit the time to do, to, uh, do, the campaign but yeah offline i think the majority of dynasty players play offline but i think i might take part in one maybe with people whom i know i don't know if if you play dynasty with strangers or if you just play exclusively with people with whom you know in real life i wonder if there's like a breakdown of that i'm sure ea's done that kind of research okay here we go Three, two, one, third time. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here with EA Sports College Football 20. Game, gameplay not final represents a game in development. Well, the, the game comes out in like two weeks. Dynasty. Online Dynasty in College Football 25 can accommodate up to 32 teams, and you can play with friends for up to 30 seasons. 32 teams, 30 seasons. The new 12 team college football playoff. Recruiting the transfer portal, and a ton of customization options to make your program unique. College football has seen seismic changes over the past few years. And in EA Sports College Football 25, you can experience this new landscape while building your program the way you want. The 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12-team college football playoff, and you can play it first that looks clean. In the game months before the real thing. You could be the first coach to lead your school through the new 12-team playoff and hoist the college football. One thing I hope is that the on-field, even the patches like 2025, hope that updates year after year. It's kind of weird to be in 2035 and to have players wearing patches from 10 years earlier. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. The best way to build a powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Each year, over 3,500 high school recruits are generated from all over the country. With certain I wonder if you get like pipeline bonuses like you would in previous games. Like if you have a certain number of recruits from Texas, for example, you get a bonus while you're recruiting recruits from Texas. A recruit's interest in your school is decided by 14 different pitch grades like proximity to home, playing time, and brand exposure. So you'll need to discover how your program's pitch grades align with your recruit's desires, in addition to scouting for talent. 
some players have a deal breaker requirement. And if your program cannot provide, the recruit will lock you out. Ghosted. Deal breakers also drive a player's decision to enter the transfer portal. Monitor at-risk players and get one last chance to convince your favorites to stay. Track your recruits as they narrow down their top schools. Pitch a prospect to gain more interest and then set up school visits when the timing is right. It's crucial to remain in their top 10, then eight, then five, to finally be part of their top three. As a recruit trims down to the top eight. I hope that the recruits each have their own timelines. I'm sure I trust EA in that regard to not have like one universal cutoff date for top five and top three and so on. With a wide receiver visit at the same time. It's crucial to keep an eye on the transfer portal when it opens in the off season to round out your roster with talent you couldn't land from recruiting. Add portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting, but expect quick decisions as transfers have a shorter timeline to land a new home. Conference realignment is a hot topic in college football. And with custom conferences in EA Sports College Football 25, Dynasty is yours to control. See what a 20-team super conference might look like. I don't think you can create conferences from scratch with your own logos and such. Conference size and membership. That'd be cool if you could. Custom conference rules, set up divisions and more. Especially for like the online dynasties. Options, it's time to select your team. Begin with a highly ranked team and dominate at the top with repeat recruiting and playoff success. Or build from the ground up with a smaller program and prove you have what it takes to go from an unknown Kennesaw State. That's a new new school talk about your to this game. Talking about your starting job. Start as an offensive or defensive coordinator and climb the ranks to head coach. Or take over a program as the head coach right away. Choose from one of the motivator, three recruiter, tactician. Your coach type will determine what coaching skill tree you start with. From there, the abilities you acquire as you progress will determine what kind of uh oh, oh. microtransactions. I just noticed that. Or if you build that's what the C stands for. You can unlock hybrid trees that leverage a more diverse. Uh -oh. The coaching carousel is an important part of every coach's journey. But that's actually realistic. Maybe not for coaching attributes, but you can... I think I mentioned it previously. What if you could buy recruits? I mean, you could argue it's kind of realistic. But it's also a slippery slope for being paid to win. I wonder how that would work for online dynasties. Tree. It's important to think about okay, how focus. you want to build your staff, whether that's doubling down on your existing strengths to max out your benefits or seeking out balance for a well-rounded staff. Choose wisely. The decisions you make here will matter to your program's success and your coach's progression. The benefits of coach talents are stackable. So if your head coach and defensive coordinator have the same ability, the impact for that ability will be greater. Well, that's it for today's deep dive in the dynasty mode in EA Sports College Football 25. To make it game day every day this season, pre-order the MVP bundle. All right. Um... Pretty cool, pretty excited. Some things I've noticed. Yeah, the microtransaction seems like you can buy attribute points for your coach, coordinator. Um, I don't think they'll have the same thing for recruits, although you could argue, like I've said, kind of realistic. Um, I think commissioners of online dynasties, the overseers, might have to implement rules of no pay to win. Um, I think down the road, I mean, I doubt they probably have this in this game, but if you're playing, if you're at a smaller program, you can schedule a game against a bigger school and they might kind of give you something, right? Give you some cash or like attribute points. Not for free. EA wouldn't let you do that for free. They want to sell those things to you, but 
that'd be an interesting um, addition. Like if you're down the road, if you're also responsible for things like budgeting, but I think that might be a bit too involved for players. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I think I'm going to have to, I'm tempted just to go out and get a PS5 like today, even though the game is like two weeks away. Online Dynasty is intriguing. So many options. Yeah. I kind of want to do the offline dynasty, build my own like stories and stuff and stat keeping. But pretty cool. Yeah. I think the hype. A lot of people seem to be hyped about this game and understandably so because it's been 10 years. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs>